Sam Adebayo has been named officially to Team USA. This has just uh, been released by Team USA. This video here, Leroy, of him uh, getting his jersey yesterday at practice from Coach have, Spo, uh, who, of course, is the lead assistant with Steve Kerr. Uh, the last thing is we have uh, a piece of news from uh, uh, outside here, but this is going to be announced on uh, on Wednesday. So everybody's announcing, uh, you know, showing it today. But Bam is representing. <laughs> <laughs> Get you some, K-Love! Wow, that's, that's cool right there. That's kind of hard. I like the way I feel. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to look real swollen. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Two times. Uh, do this to the second time. Give me another one. Yeah. And see where we go from there. Pretty cool thing. How many guys have won multiple gold medals? I mean, Carmelo's got the most, right? Three? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got three. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Bam's gonna have a chance to uh, go back this week. This year's oh. in Paris. Yeah. Ah, oui. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You didn't see my shirt. That was a smack. Oh, that's right. that's right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. I forgot about that. Well, if you guys for the radio audience, it was cool. They had a uh, Spo there with it, and Kevin Love immediately just smacks Bam right in the tush. Like I just mean... gives it, and, and Bam just gives it this look like, "Hey, man, <laughs> too hard, too much, too, too much. much." That's the whole point. It's got to be too much. Too much. You got to go hard. If you if you do too soft, then we got problems. Right. Right. So, uh, Bam, uh, congratulations to him. He joins the uh, he joins the Team USA roster. I believe the last spot was filled yesterday because it was like eleven out of twelve. I guess they needed one final confirmation, and they are giving that to Kawhi Leonard. Wow. Kawhi. So all the big dogs are playing, huh? Pretty good roster. Pretty good roster. You got uh, Steph. KD, LeBron, Tatum, AD, Devin Booker, Drew Holiday, Embiid in his first Olympics. There was a lot of debate about where he, he was, was going to play. He was going, what country he was going to play for, right? Yeah. He could have played for France, too, I think. But, uh, Is you know, France? <laughs> it's Rudy Gobert. There's no way he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Could you imagine him and Rudy Gobert on the same team? And Rudy Gobert and Wemby. Wow. Do you are you get any points? Oh, on that? It's all about uh, boy shooting. Anthony Edwards is on the squad and Tyrese Halliburton. So, yeah, that's uh that's the team. Gonna Did be, we uh, ever figure out what happened to Williamson? Which Williamson? Who? Oh, right. Zion. 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 Uh, I don't think they've uh, I don't think they've disclosed it yet. Well, when they say he needed an MRI, then yeah, it got to be something because he just left the court. He had 41. I don't know. The, the headline on ESPN just says status iffy, which is not great. That's his career, right? Fair. He finally got in shape. Dude, for his size, he moves so quick. Oh, yeah. It, Scary. It, I mean, he was going by folks like they were standing still. That's a bummer. Yep. But, uh, that, now, there's no update on it yet, Leroy. No update. Uh, looking on to tonight's game, let's hear from uh, Eric Spolstra. Oh, uh, let me, can I do him? Sure. We look forward to these moments all year. We like the competition, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Uh, kind of. Yeah, he did say some version. It, this is not, you know what, to be fair, I did listen to his press conference. He did say a version of that. Yes. Like, not, in this, uh, not in this part of the clip. This is just him <laughs> on how uh, they got to defend Joel Embiid since he's uh, been coming back. Uh, Joel Embiid, Danny Green talked about this a lot. You know, he's he's just basically shooting the lights out. He's not full go Joel Embiid yet. But, but he's making jumpers. Dude. He's making jumpers. Like killing it, dude. Yeah, killing it. Threes, the little fade away from the foul line. He don't but, miss. But as Spo said, he's not falling for it. You got to be ready for everything with Joel Embiid. Here's uh, Eric Spolstra. It pulls your defense in a different way. So you invert it, obviously. Um, and if you're not extending, you know, your your defense to the three-point line with him, he'll make you pay just like he did in the first half, you know, the last time we played him. Uh, but he's – he can do it at all facets. So in a one-game sample, he could do it in the post if he needed to. He can do it from out there. He can do it in pick and rolls, pick and pops, all of that. Uh, you know, it has to be our best, most swarming version defensively, whatever game he's bringing, you know, uh, to it. Yeah, what do you well, think? They, you think they get the ball out of his hands and and kind of, you know, just attack him when he has any time he has the ball? 
Yeah, I mean, this is going to be one of those games where Bam... Now, I don't think it's going to be as demanding because I don't think they're playing him the full a lot of minutes that you normally would on Joel Embiid. Right. But this is going to be one of those games where Bam's going to probably match him on the floor as much, which means those Kevin Love minutes are going to be really important when they're both off the floor, which, look, he's been very productive at uh, right. in getting the offense humming and Jimmy getting going. But, um, you know, this is going to be one of the, I always expect in games like this, like, hey, you're probably going to need to pick up the slack on Bam's point production because he's right. going to the other yeah. thing is, is that who are you going to put on uh, Maxi? Because you everybody, can't, you, you can't, try. you can't leave Tyler on that island. Well, one guy who's definitely going to get time on him is Caleb. Here is yep. Caleb on uh, what he's going to try and do against uh, Maxi. Just, you just got to do more. I mean, you just kind of get in that mode where, um, I mean, he, he he's who he is for a reason, and uh, those guys get paid what they do for a reason, and you know that's what they that's what they do. So. Um, you know, we got to, you know, find the, find the grit and, and find the um, mental stability to continue to, to, to stay solid through through their runs and also just find a way to do more and make it more difficult as much as possible. Um, um, that's all you can do. Yeah, I would imagine Spoh's going to stick with uh, Rozier out. He'll be sticking with the starting lineup of, you know, Tyler and Caleb in the backcourt, basically. Do you, do you try a little size on him? I mean, Caleb is bigger. I mean, but yes, they'll throw, I think they'll throw Caleb at him. I think they'll throw Haywood at him. I think DeLon Wright will probably get some time on him. You know, DeLon's yeah. a good defender. And, uh, and my, I, only, my only thing is, is that I don't know necessarily if the length in front of him matters because mm -hmm. he's just so doggone quick. But oh, yeah. And he'll yeah. shoot from anywhere. Like, right. that was, like they tried that with him and he was like, you know, putting the, uh, so you're going to have to do a little bit of like, look, good guy makes good shots like they did against Dallas. Like, what do you do when right. Bam's all over Luca and he hits threes in your face? So, right. Um, but yeah, I think there's going to be, they're going to throw a lot of, I think those three guys, they'll probably be, you know, their main focus on him because you are. And the one thing with a game and a matchup like this is look, normally you can be pretty versatile with Bam. There'll be possessions where maybe they'll throw Jimmy on Embiid for a time, but you know, this is one of those. Just like when you take on the Nuggets, it's a, it's, it's one of those where you kind of have to have Bam straight up the whole game. Can, on the guy. can I just say this? Mm -hmm. This one person I don't want to get off. No dog. No. Who? Niang. <laughs> he's on the. He's on the. Uh, the Wait. Cavs. Oh no, that's where he used to be on the Sixers. He used to be on the Sixers. That that we guy. Were we were talking about him on Monday because we were talking about Struce. He's like, oh, Cleveland loves Struce. I'm like, as much as they love that fatty uh, knee. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm telling you, he you know, he looks like, you remember they used to show the, the video, video of Stan Van Gundy dribbling the ball and working the ball? That's who he reminds me of. Man. Uh, so we got that. This is uh, Tyler. Tyler is uh we were talking He's got to be excited. He's got to be the most excited guy going into this game. I would think so. I would think this is uh this is his opportunity but he uh you know, he's he's not I think allowing, you know, last year you heard from him he was like I want to prove it in the playoffs. I want to prove it in the playoffs. You know, I want to show off in the big game. He's probably not going to lead with that. He's, he's not. He did, you know, I asked him about that after the game and he was like I just want to be healthy. I just want to be healthy yeah. and and uh, let's see what he can bring from the Just table on that sample. Prove what you can do on stage of the games meaning the most. <clears throat> um, I'm not trying to really prove anything. Just be out there and have fun and play basketball. Um, I don't really want to prove anything. Just be healthy. That's all I'm trying to do is be healthy. Any pizza, I don't know. Any pizza. That's what I was thinking. Um, I'm jealous of the guy. Who gets that, that you know what. Let me tell you the thing that sucks about sports. And this is in any sport. You can't play it to avoid getting hurt. Right? You just have to play and hope for the best. Like, it, when you start worrying about getting hurt is when you don't play your best version of what you do. Right? Like, and so... I like the attitude that he has, you know. It, it, I think, and especially for him, because, like, he's dealt with, uh, he deals with a lot of noise, and sometimes he'll take it on directly, and he'll tweet about it, and sometimes he'll let him get to it. And I feel like this last injury, because, you know, he comes back from the one injury, then he deals with another big injury. Right. He's probably just like, man, just, if I could just be out there. Right. I think the rest will take care of itself. I think I mean, he's, look, he, 
he's he's done. Listen, when he's on the basketball court, he don't have nothing to prove to nobody. Right? That's a fact. Shmeetan says, Tobin uses the same voice someone would use reading a baby, their baby a bedtime story. <laughs> and when you ask questions, you do go very docile. What do you want me to do? You, everybody wants you to be like, hey, Tyler, you're going to be baby goat? <laughs> That's what you guys want me to do in no, the locker room. But we would rather you not, like, whisper. It's awkward. I mean, it's, it's like, a, it, no, here, here's what you do. Listen how you're talking now. And then you ask Tyler a question. You think you know with your injuries? You gonna come back? Yeah, <laughs> like Tyler, tell 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 the Sixers they're gonna eat it. Heat and five. <laughs> do it. That's what everybody wants me to do. No, it's Coach not even the clown. question. It's your tone. You want me to be there? With Why a are you more? whispering like we're at a movie? No, that's just how everybody talks. You no, know, nobody's except Ira. You know, you know Ira. Ira's boisterous. He's he's uh, he's got he's got his two feet on the ground, letting you know. Lead off with no cap. Dade South says it's not what you say; it's how you say it. Yes. No cap. No cap. <laughs> they use it in the right time. Look, that's the time. That's the. What's wrong with that? It's different. That it's, our, it's our interview. We're, you know, I we're doing it's our voice. show. My Why country. all of a sudden you go like you you like sexy talk and you like you know setting up a commercial for some type of uh, ed commercial or something you know oh man we'll take a quick break 